Well, tonight, the triple demic is pushing Valley hospitals to capacity. Some shelves once filled with over the counter medication are now wiped out. Here's a look at inpatient bed occupancy right here in Clark County. Sunrise Hospital, Centennial Hills and St. Rose Siena campus over 90% full right now. Reporter Abel Garcia introduces us to a family whose daughter went through a serious case of RSV and dealt with the ongoing influx of patients in our hospitals. Kyra is finally back home as she was released from the hospital and she is recovering from RSV, but her parents say the process was a nightmare. So we were in the holding area. Lauren Taylor walks me through one of the most difficult times she has faced as a parent, showing me a video of her 18 month old daughter Kyra on oxygen while battling RSV in Summerlin Hospital. She had low oxygen, which they call hypoxia, and um, a fever, and they said that they needed to admit her right away. The nightmare began about one week ago. Taylor says her daughter just got over the flu, but she noticed the troubled breathing continued. One night, waking up at 4 a.m. to see this. So you can see the belly going up. You can hear the forced breathing. You can see the ribs coming out, and they call this seesaw breathing or retractions. Both Lauren and her husband, Jason Taylor, say that was enough for them to take their daughter to the ER. But when they arrived at Summerlin Hospital Thursday morning, there was a delay. Um, about 24 hours almost were spent waiting just to get a room to open up for her. Uh, and then there were other kids, you know, coming in and waiting on rooms as well. Lauren says she was concerned they were too late. They were aggressively trying to wake her up, bump her oxygen, increase her requirements, and told me they told me that she was one of the more severe cases in the hospital right now. So it was very scary. Lauren says the hospital was full, leaving her anxious to find care for her child as soon as possible. She says other sick children had already filled the available hospital beds, leaving Kyra waiting in the emergency room. The nurses also were running frantic, and they just there's not enough of them. There's not enough of a healthcare team. So, but when we got upstairs, our care was much better. We were much, we were, we were taken care of. She says her daughter was finally given a pediatric bed 24 hours later after Kyra's oxygen levels fell. Kyra spent four days in the hospital and was released this past Sunday. I reached out to Summerlin Hospital and a spokesperson says the Children's Medical Center is continuing to care for record volumes of patients in both the pediatric ER and being admitted to our pediatric unit for RSV and other respiratory medical issues. The hospitals are, are, are full, there's a lot of RSV going around. Still, Jason has a message for fellow parents. He says to not let the overcrowded conditions discourage you from taking a sick child to the hospital. Start to see them struggling with their breathing, that's when you really want to start thinking about, you know, do we need to go in? Do we need to take them in? I'm Abel Garcia reporting from Summerlin.